Kelly Berg with the Greater Bridgman Area Chamber and Growth Alliance. Uh, here today with Chris Betts with Transient Artisan Ales. We are promoting the Maker's Trail and the Maker's Trail Festival, and Transient Artisan Ales is definitely a critical part of both of those things. So, Chris, thanks so much for having us today. Can you tell us what we have? So, uh, we picked a, a selection of four different beers that kind of encompass everything we do here, um, from hoppy IPAs to sours and, and uh, a big imperial stout. Um, starting here is our double IPA, uh, the juice is loose. Um, we don't have flagships here, but this is probably what we make more often than almost anything else. It is a East Coast style double IPA, meaning it is softer, not as bitter, uh, but still brightly aromatic. Oh, that's tasty. That's really smooth. Now, can you do that when you drink beer? Is yeah, bad? no, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. That uh, releases aromatics. I'm good at drinking it, but not brewing it, you know. <laughs> That's all that matters. All right, so what do we um, have next? So the next one is uh, one of our sours. This is a, a Goza, which is a salty, sour, uh, German-style wheat beer. Mm -hmm. um, we make this version, which is called Purple Grain, with uh, beets. Um, beets? Yep. Yeah. So, uh, I don't like beets, but I think I'm going to like this beer. <laughs> it's a little earthy, tart, dry, with a, a bit of salt character to it. Oh, that is good. That is nicely sour. Yeah, nice mm -hmm. and refreshing. Mm -hmm. We do, uh, one of the, the nice things about having sours, and especially having them between kind of more traditional styles, that they, they kind of refresh your palate as well. So, Definitely. You know, breaking up the Imperial Stout and the double IPA with a sour definitely helps so they're not all running together. Okay. So the next one is a version of our big Imperial breakfast stout, mm -hmm. uh, Buckley, which is named after my dog. This has definitely been our most popular beer uh, since opening. Uh, what has kind of drawn so many people to make lines here. Okay. Uh, once a year. Uh, this is uh, about 14% uh, maple, wow. vanilla, uh, coffee, imperial stuff. Oh, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Buffy did good. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he's definitely the most famous uh, employee of the brewery. Oh, I'll bet. Yeah, that's why we, we're drawing a mural right now of him on our on our wall. Nice. Where's yeah. it gonna go? Right behind me. <laughs> Ah, okay. Very cool. What do we have here? So the last beer is our spontaneous beer. Um, in, in Belgium they call this a, a lambic. Uh, it means you're taking wort, which is pre-fermented beer, and putting it out into an open container outside uh, to spontaneously inoculate with yeast and bacteria. Uh, so any given day, um, it's going to make it completely different beer than any other day, any other place in the world. So wow. this should be um, un, unremakeable. It should be completely unique. Uh, and you to do this Bridgman. over and over, so I could come back in two years and have a completely different. Yeah, yeah. Every every batch, yeah, and even every barrel. So every every batch we make uh, produces four wine barrels um, of this of this beer, and then every barrel tastes completely unique. So I gotta try this. That's good. That's really good. Mm. So if folks wanted to, they could come in and try any of these four beers now. But because the very nature of your brewery is that you change your beers often, you need to come in and try these beers, but you also need to come to the Maker's Trail Festival on June 9th from 1 to 10 because the beers you're going to be bringing to the festival, mm, I'm still puckering, it's really good. The beers you're going to drink, be bringing to the festival will be completely different than the beers that we're sampling today. Yep. And you now have the ability to create a lot more with your new addition. You've added over 5,000 square feet. We added uh, another 1,800 square feet um, onto our original uh, just under 5,000. Nice and more outdoor seating so folks can come and enjoy a beautiful summer here in Bridgman. Yep. We'll be adding hopefully a larger patio and uh, a larger tap room. Um, 
late spring, early summer. You know? Which will be great because there are literally lines around the block when you produce a new release, right? So that'll be good Sometimes. to accommodate more of your customers. Yeah, yeah, make it a little more comfortable here on those, those release days. And then you need to come to Waco Beach on June 9th this year uh, for the Maker's Trail Festival. Breweries, wineries, distilleries all coming together offering you a great experience with um, local bands and Billy Strings. So check it out at makerstrailfestival.org and we'll see you at the fest. Thanks, Chris. Thank you.